So many choices. Yeah. I'm partial to chocolate, so maybe chocolate smoked sea salt for me. Can I do a single cup of uh, Secret Breakfast Twix? Thank you. Can you get away with serving any sort of bourbon flavored product? To a child? Right. Might be an overlooked area of regulation. And there may be a loophole there. <laughs> We're going to have to close that up. For starters, mm -hmm. just going back a little bit to the origins of Yelp, it didn't really work at first. Right. It, it didn't take. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened there and how you figured out sort of the way forward from that? You talk to almost any successful entrepreneur and they have a story of, you know, how they started out, they had an idea and then inevitably it changed. Right. And uh, that was definitely the case for Yelp. We wanted to create the next generation Yellow Pages. And we thought word of mouth, if you could capture that and bring it online, that would create something really powerful. The question, of course, at, at the time was, well, how do you capture that word of mouth? What's the mechanism? Mm -hmm. like people aren't just going to write reviews for fun. That's crazy. That's a terrible <laughs> That's idea. That's a terrible <laughs> idea. We, we literally that. thought that was a terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> we considered it and we yes. dispensed with it. Right. Yeah. And so then we built a site about asking friends for recommendations. Okay. And buried in there, very deeply and accidentally, was a way to write your own review without being asked a question. Okay. And so after lunch, we started looking at the data and nothing's working. We're pretty miserable. But <laughs> one, thing, one thing that we saw was that certain people would discover that feature and go crazy. They'd write five or 10 or 15 reviews in one sitting. Uh -huh. And that was a bit of an aha moment. Like, what's going on there? Why are these people writing reviews? I mean, wait, this yeah. doesn't conform with any of our expectations it's, it's at all. Other, yeah, it's not right. as we anticipated. And so then I sat down and I just started writing some reviews without being asked a question. And that right. was where the, the light bulb went off for me personally was, oh, I, I'm opinionated. I like to write reviews. This is mm -hmm. really fun and satisfying. Right. And you know, from that point, we just decided we were going to have to flip the model on its head and be a place for you to share your recommendations, not necessarily just be asked of your friends. The idea that people could review local businesses was not unheard of. There, there were other sites, there are other sites, but Yelp has clearly become the dominant player in that space. Why do you think Yelp was so successful where other pre-existing players maybe kind of faltered and, and fell by the wayside. The thing that we uncovered was the power of the community. Right. And by focusing on community and tapping into the passion of consumers that wanted to share that information, we were be able to create a site that was unmatched and just kind of the quality and depth of content. So mm -hmm. we attracted a lot of people that just loved to write. People were competing with each other in the quality of their reviews. Like right. one person would write in haiku, another would do sort of a freeform poetry style. Mm -hmm. and, and so people were really riffing and getting creative with it. And that showed that we were attracting the right type of people. I have to ask you, because you're the CEO and co-founder of Yelp, so kind of lightning round. Uh oh. Raising like, myself. Raising yourself. Favorite fancy restaurant? Spruce. Favorite bar? Lion Pub. Mexican food. Papalote. Excellent. Well, listen, I'm... I'm done. I'm still working You're on working it. You're working on I've it, got but a ways I, to go. I think uh, we can do the rest of this off camera. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That was great. Sure. Yeah.